Thomas Alva Edison. His inventing career spanned some 70 years. He produced almost 1,100 patented inventions. It became a testament to our possibility. This is the 35th annual Thomas Alva Edison Patent Awards, presented by the Research and Development Council of New Jersey. My name is Xiaolin Yang from BASF. I'm a senior research associate. I'm a project leader for new material development. My name is Pascaline Tran. Um, I am an R&D manager at BASF. I currently um, am in charge of a group that developed catalysts for motorcycles. The mercury in the gas phase, uh, that's mainly from the a power plant uh, that uh, when they burn the coal. So the current uh, the technology uh, that most people use are uh, pow uh, powdered activated carbon. So they inject this activated carbon and into the duct. Then this uh, the carbon will go together with the flash. Um, however, there's a problem with uh, this activated carbon because it's ruining the flash, which can be used as additive for the concrete industry. So we are trying to develop a mineral-based sorbent so that it's compatible with the fly ash. Power utility company, they make money by selling the fly ash. The fly ash is like a filler in the concrete. So they sell the fly ash. But if you have activated carbon, the activated carbon changes the properties of the concrete and, and, and the concrete people doesn't like it, so they cannot use that fly ash. Without mineral absorbent, uh, it doesn't do that. So the power utilities can still sell their fly ash and make money. This is really the, the, the government regulation driven kind of technology development because uh, this uh, power utility emit this uh, mercury and it pollute the air and pollute our fish. So the government, U.S. government has reg regulation to be in effect uh, next year. So that will require the power utility to cut their emission, mercury emission by 90%. So they must find a solution to do this. And uh, so th we are just uh, uh, take this opportunity to develop this absorbent uh, to, to certify this uh, government regulation. This is a good opportunity for this technology to open to more uh, to the public to understand and also to, to, to use eventually this technology commercialization. Uh, but to, uh, for our personally, I, I think it's a great honor to we get this award. I'm living in Edison. And we work actually in the Menlo Park. So this is, a, now our work is associated with uh, this Thomas Edison Award. We're very honored.